Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dragos and you're watching Romania Dual Sport. The two most annoying things that my beloved KTM 890 have is one, the ticking sound of the engine and second, the fact that the motorcycle starts with only one cylinder in a cold start. So today I'm going to present to you a possible fix for the first problem, that the, that's the ticking sound and that's the installation of the Dirt Tricks cam chain tensioner. Uh, it's a product made in USA, which I have bought it from Triple Clamp Europe, because I am from Europe. And I will make a detailed video about the installation of the uh, cam chain tensioner and sound of the motorcycle. I will show you the sound of the motorcycle before the cam uh, tensioner and after it. So if you are interested how to fix this problem, this issue, please stay with me. Thank you. So before the installation, let's listen to the engine without the upgrade and then we're going to continue with the upgrade. Both, um, uh, both sound registration will be 10 seconds long, so you can have an idea of the difference between uh, the two. Okay, back in the garage several day la days later. Uh, firstly, let me show to you where the um, shift cam is uh, situated. It's on the right side of the motorcycle, right underneath the gas tank. But let me show it to you. It is right there, that Allen screw head. Right there, Allen screw head and uh, that screw there. Okay guys, I'm sorry that uh, it's gonna look a little cramped. You gonna don't, you will not see uh, the actual um, action that I'm doing because I have still the gas tank on, but that's the screw, that's the cap. You just have to remove the those two and okay, we will uh, get through this uh, together and you will see. Okay, so what tools do we need? We need an Allen key number eight. Uh, yes, which is this one. Okay, and uh, we need this number 22, okay, with a flexible driver, okay, and the key, and the ratchet key. Okay, so let's get the cap out first. Right, so the cap looks, let me just point, point it out to the camera. The cap looks like this. It has an O-ring on it. Sorry for the movement. It has an O-ring on it and definitely we just have to keep that. Now we're gonna move on and remove the screw. All right. So 22 millimeter ratchet key. Okay, so it didn't take too much force. Now I'm gonna remove it by hand. All right. So looks like this. So this is the screw. Oh shit! Sorry. It has uh, an O-ring on it. So please don't forget to keep that O-ring. And now let's remove the mechanism. So the actual mechanism, the original one, you're going to remove it by hand because it just stays there. And one thing, very important, okay. Okay, this is the old mechanism. As you see, it has on it an O-ring. We're going to remove this O-ring and put it on the Dirt Tricks uh, mechanism, okay? Okay, so let's open the uh, Dirt Tricks package you will find there the mechanism and a spring okay so when you're gonna insert it this is the mechanism this is the spring when we're gonna insert it we're gonna make sure that it is compressed 
uh, it says like this on the Dirt Tricks uh, installation instructions. But before that, let's put on it the old O-ring. Okay, just about the half. And now we're gonna insert it with the hand. I'm gonna put aside the spring not to lose it. So I'm doing it by hand. It's not a big deal. Okay, let me show it to you. Yes, with the with the brown thingy uh, in front, in the towards the headlight. Okay, it's in there. Okay, it's in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put back the screw. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and install the screw back with a ratchet. Again, I'm just doing it by hand. It's uh, quite tight, it's not very loose here, but I'm sure if I can do it with my hands, you will also do it. We're gonna do the tightening by hand. I'm not gonna use any torque tools because it was not very very torqued so yeah let's see okay I think this is enough so now we need to insert the spring now we need to insert the spring before the cap okay I use this magnetized head tool to put the spring on top of it because it's very it is flexible and it's very easy to install it Okay, so let's try to do it. Alright, so it's in there. In there is just, uh, it is just hanging. So now I'm gonna put the cap, screw it by hand and hope to, uh, to have done a good job. Yep, very easy. A good job. Ratchet on, ratchet on a little bit with the E and screw. Okay, that's it, not too much. And the installation is finished. All right, the installation is finished. Now let's see the result. Let's hear the result. So I hope that you will find the differences between the before sound and the after. I'm gonna do my best to use my best tools to record the sound and to see if it is really that much of a difference. Okay, let's do the test. Oh my god, what a difference. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. This sound rivals my buddy's Radu Africa Twin. It's incredible. It's completely new bike. I know maybe from the video it doesn't sound like much. Or maybe it does. But I know how my motorcycle used to sound before this installation. Guys. This is really, really unbelievable. I really recommend you to do it. At least try it. Uh, it's not very, very expensive. If you don't like it, okay, remove it and put back the original one. But please try it. Guys, I hope you liked and you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please, for God's sake, subscribe to the channel. It's very easy and it's cheap for you. Until next time, you watched. Romania Dual Sport, I'm Dragos for you. Thank you. Ciao.